I managed to clear my entire TBR cart. Now we get to have the fun of picking the books off of my shelf to fill it back up. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we get to go through my two shelves of books and fill up my TBR cart for the next few months where I can mood read off of them. I did have one or two suggestions from subscribers previously whenever I did my bookshelf tour. So I will be adding those to my TBR cart, but I am just gonna go through my shelves. I will show you some clips and everything as I go through it and just pick out books that really stand out to me, that speak to me, things that I would want to read. Before we get into today's video, please make sure that you always like and subscribe. Check my description box below for any of my links. I have my Patreon account, my Pango Books account, and so much more more. I hope that you guys come and join us over on Patreon because we have our first member over there and she had picked out our June book club pick of the month and it's going to be exciting. I will say that so stay tuned for my June TBR that should be coming out after this video I believe. Now let's get in to all the fun. up picking out so many books. I don't even know if they're all going to fit on here, but I did free up a lot of space on my shelf. So if I get any new books in or anything, I do have places to put them. They are no longer double stacked. So let's get into the ones that I picked. I'm really not going to go into what the books are about or, you know, anything like that. I may say why I picked it, but I don't want to make this an hour long video. So let's get into them. I ended up picking up Demure by Hope Davis. This was an arc that was sent to me and I wanted to go ahead and get to it. So I went ahead and put this on my TBR cart. So hopefully I can get to it soon. I put two of these on here. They were saved from my book unhaul. So not your ordinary fairy tale by Christine Warren. And then also Forevermore by Cindy Miles. I figured that since I saved them from the unhaul, maybe I should go ahead and get them read now. <laughs> We have Mountain Made Mountains Made of Glass by Scarlet St. Clair. I know the second novella in this series is going to be coming out later this year, so I wanted to go ahead and get a head start on it. And of course, I put the ever popular When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. This is an indie copy. I've had it for a while, and I decided, you know what? Everybody's talking about how much they love it. I know that it just got republished, so let's dive into this world. I have The Goodbye Cat by Hira Arakawa. It's translated from Japanese um, by Philip Gabriel, and it's just a cute little book about, I want to say, nine or seven different cats that their impact that they have on their owners and stuff. So it's going to be one of those where you like dive in and out of it. And then my biggest thing this year is to get caught up on series or finish series so I'm not backlogged with them. So I put Glow of the Everflame and Heat of the Everflame by Penn Cole on the cart because I know that the fourth and final book is coming out very soon. So I want to get caught up on the series, read the fourth one so I'm not like in five years finally finishing this series. And then another popular one that's out right now is A 
The Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. I have never read by Jay Bree before, so I'm going to go ahead and dive into this one because I have so many special editions and I don't need them if I don't end up liking the book. Again, with this series, I have The Right Move and Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. So these are going to finish out the Windy City series until the fourth and final book comes out. I think it's like Play With Me or something like that. I don't know when it comes out. It may already be out. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. All right, I think it's time to finally read this series, and that is the Shadow series by T.M. Hart. Um, I had ended up getting a extra copy of Shadow Kiss whenever I did my blind date with a book unboxing. I figured it's time to go ahead and read these. I've had these for so long. They were the originals that were published, and it was in 2017. So these are the original covers before uh, they did the remake on them, which are absolutely stunning. I don't know why they decided to go away from this one, but it's time to get to this series. Okay, so I have book three in the Hearts and Crowns series, uh, Emmy and the Tudor Throne by Natalie Murray. And then also I want to put on the new adult omnibus because I want to reread it, see what's different because I know that it's spicier, but I, I'm very curious. All right, and then also we have the Ever King and Ever Queen. This is a duology. I don't know if I want to read these first or the other series that the author has, but I've heard that you can read these and be just fine. So I think I'm going to dive into this duology, get caught up on it. And then also, I know this just recently got picked up by the publisher, so this copy is no longer available. I've had it for probably a year now, or maybe a little under a year, so I think it's time to read it before the traditionally published version comes out. Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. I have heard so many people talk about how amazing this book is, so I cannot wait to dive into it. Keeping with the theme of series, I know the fourth one is coming out very soon, so let's get caught up. And that's A Kingdom, This Cursed and Empty, and also A Crown This Cold and Heavy by Saucia Stark. I've already read the first one, absolutely loved it. I need to finish these up and get caught up on them. Again, this year I am trying to get caught up on all of my series. I know that that's going to be an unachievable goal because I have so many series I'm in the middle of, but I'm hoping that by the end of this year I only have maybe 10 or less that I have to get caught up on. So let's start with this one too. I ended up seeing this book on, I think, Instagram. I saw like a blurb or something and I was very curious. And that is Hidden in Brutal Devotion by G BJ Alpha. This is an extremely dark romance. I do know that. So you have to check trigger warnings, but I can't wait to dive into it. All right, so we have The Book of Azrael by Amber V. Nicole. I got this from Bookish Box. I need to read it. I've heard so many people say amazing things about it. I know that there's already a second book out, maybe a third. I'm not sure, but I know the second book is already out. So I want to go ahead and read it, see what it's all about. And then the fairy loot edition of this book that I had bought an extra copy of, of just a paperback, and I didn't realize I already had it. But that is The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas. I know nothing about this. I know that it's from fairy loot. I really need to start reading my subscription books as they come in, because if not, I'm just going to have like a whole shelf of them that I'm not even reading. And then another series that I'm trying to get caught up on that I haven't even started, so I don't even know why I'm trying to get caught up on it, but that is Icebreaker and Wildfire by Hannah Grace. This is the probably smut um, editions of these books, but I've heard so many people talk about them. I'm not much of a sports romance fan, so I don't know how they're going to go. I know this one takes place like at a summer camp, so this is going to be a little bit more interesting than I think this one will, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. And another book that is no longer available to order and that is Rose and Daggers by a bunch of different authors. I got an email from Vela Roth. I'm on her newsletter and basically she said hey this book is no longer going to be available as of this date so if you would like it you need to purchase it. I immediately went and purchased it. It has a lot of short stories in here by Nicolette Andrews, R.L. Davenor, Zoe Ellis, Lizette Marshall, H.R. Moore, S.L. Prater, Jenny Lynn Roberts, and Vela Roth. So I love my Hesperines. 
I need to read another short story about my Hesperines. And then I am hoping to finish up this series as well. This is book two, which is Keeper of the Bees by Meg Castle. This is the second book to Blackbirds of the Gallows that I really, really enjoyed. So I can't wait to read this one and get fully caught up on that series. Let's throw in a thriller, shall we? And that is The Fury by Alex M Michaelitis. Michael Lights. Anyway, I know this is a thriller. People have been talking about how great it is. I've never read from this author, but I know that my in-person book club picked The Silent Patient, I think is what it's called, for June, which is also by this author. So I decided let's read a couple from him, and if I end up liking it, I do want to read his backlist. And then of course my girl Karina Halley. I have been devouring her books lately. I absolutely love them. I like the gothic elements to them. I I really really enjoy it and I think she writes smut extremely well so the duology is hollow and legend and this is like a sleepy hollow retelling I did want to wait until October but let's just dive into it in the summer because I know that any time that I read her books it doesn't matter what time of the year I devour them so I have been waiting patiently and I can't wait any longer one of my subscribers had told me on my previous bookshelf tour video to read The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. They said that The Remnant Chronicles is so, so good. So it's time to dive into this world. I have heard mixed reviews. I've heard people love it. I've heard people don't like it as much. I don't know if it is too YA or if the story just doesn't work for them. I'm excited. Another one that I am so excited for is y'all know that I love, love, love Olivia Wildenstein. So I'm going to read her new book, My Dark Beast. I think this is, yeah, Sleeping Beauty meets Hades and Persephone. I cannot wait to read this. I don't don't know if this is going to be a series or if it's just a standalone but we're gonna find out. A book that I wanted to give a shot to because I had read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by this author and I really I enjoyed the story but it wasn't like an absolute favorite of mine so I really want to try One True Loves. I do believe this is about a husband and wife who are married and then he either goes missing or is presumed dead. So after several years she ends up moving on and marrying someone else and then her husband comes back and now she's like what do I do at this point? So I'm like I'm intrigued and I want to get to this. How about a little fun one for summer? And that is Welcome to Fay Cafe by Jennifer Croft. I think is how you pronounce it. This is just a sweet little wholesome high court of the coffee bean novel. Danger, kisses, and a whole lot of cookies. So this is going to be one of those like sweet, wholesome, no high anxiety, stressful quests that we're going to be going on. So I cannot wait to dive into this. All right, another series that I'm catching up on is Powerful by Lauren Roberts. This is just a little novella. I have the Barnes & Noble edition and the Waterstones edition. So I went ahead and just pulled them both off of my shelf since if I read one, it's going to be both of them. So again, I cannot wait to get to this little novella. See if I like Powerless series a little bit more than I did with book one. Finally, I am going to get to Wife After Wife by Olivia Hayfield. If you've watched my previous gun haul video, I think it is a modernization of Henry VIII. Like what if Henry VIII was in modern times and he was like a, what do they call him? A womanizing media mongol instead of the King of England. So I can't wait to get to this one either. I have heard nothing but good things about this author and that's Axie O and this is XOXO. Now granted, I do not watch K-pop dramas, I think is what it is. Maybe I should. This is just a little sweet, wholesome YA romance. So I wanted to read it because I think I have the special edition from Fairy Loot coming. So I wanted to kind of see what it was like. I am finally going to read a Lucy score book that I have wanted to and that is Things We Never Got Over. This is the first book in the Knock Em Out series and I've heard that book one is great, book two isn't that good, and then I think book three was just kind of meh for everybody. But I want to give it a shot because I know Lucy score is loved by a lot of readers and I want to kind of dip my toes in, see what I think. 
Another book that is pretty hyped up in the indie circle, which is Heavenly Bonnies by Imani Aru. And I know the second book is already out, and I really want to get to this because I love celestial fantasy romances. So I can't wait to see what this author does with this whole setup. So I also have Kingdom of Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee. This is the bookish box edition. I do have book two and three coming. It's not very long, but I know that people have said this is a great book. And then I've also heard people say that this book like is really good until like the 60 or 70% mark. And then I think the smut comes out of nowhere. I'm not sure. So I'm ready to give it a try myself. All right, a book that has not been getting very good reviews, which is never by Jessa Hastings, which is like a Peter Pan retelling. But I think it is like the original Peter Pan story and not like the Disney version. So I did read the original version, of course, many, many, many years ago. So I don't know if I remember a whole lot of it. But I have heard that if you like the original Peter Pan story, then you do like this. So I'm ready to give it a shot. I have heard a lot of people that I have the similar tastes with have DNF'd this book. So I'm really hoping that's not the case for me. And then I have a indie author that I met at Authors in the Bluegrass, which is Michelle Miller. And this is called From the Wreckage. It does take place like right after I think a tornado comes through and destroys a lot of the town. And it is like a trauma bonding type of romance. So I can't wait to get into this because if y'all know, I live in Tornado Alley. So I mean, it hits pretty close to home. So I really wanted to kind of give this a shot. All right, the final book before I get into the four series that I want to complete, which is To Bleed a Crystal Bloom by Sarah A. Parker. I do already have her When the Moon Hatched. This is the Page and Wick edition that I have. And I really want to read this because I've heard a lot of people love this series. I don't know if I am going to like it, but we're going to find out. I'm just clearing my shelves of series, I'm telling you, because if I end up loving them, I want to keep them. But if I don't love them, then why do I have them taking up so much space on my shelves? So the first series that I want to complete is The Court of Honey and Ash, I believe is what it's called. So you have book one, which is A Court of Honey and Ash, and then you have Throne of Feathers and Bone. And then A Crown of Petals and Ice. These are the bookish box editions. They are naked hardcovers. I've had them sitting on my shelves for six months, eight months, and I haven't even gravitated towards them. So now is the time to get these read. Another series that has been sitting on my shelf for, I kid you not, like three years, four years, and I don't even know why I haven't even just picked them up yet, which is the Paranormalcy series by Kirsten White. I don't know what order they go into, but there's Paranormalcy, um, Endlessly, and Supernaturally. I don't know if there's any more books in this series, but it's time to read them or get rid of them. I don't know, but they've been taking up space for years. All right, and then also the entire Bonds That Tie series by Jay Bree. I have the Arcane Society Special Editions. You have Broken Bonds, Savage Bonds, Blood Bonds, Forced Bonds, Tragic bonds and unbroken bonds. I hope that that is in order because the spines do line up. So I'm thinking that is in order, but they are beautiful additions, but it is time to read them and either keep them or unhold them. I think that with them being kind of short, it should be a breeze to get through the whole series. If I end up not liking book two, three, four, etc. I'm just going to DNF the series. There's no point in continuing on if I don't like it, but I have heard a lot of good things about it. And I do know this is a why choose romance as well. So I can't wait. And the final series that I am putting on my TBR cart is none other than 
Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco. These are the bookish box editions. They're absolutely stunning and these are not in order, but you do have Hunting Dracula, Stalking Jack the Ripper, Capturing the Devil, and Escaping Houdini. Now, I think these are absolutely stunning additions. They give you like that vintage late 1800 style portrait and I think they are gorgeous and beautiful. So I'm really hoping that I do like this series because I would love to keep them on my shelves. But nonetheless, if I end up not liking them, then I will be unhauling them. I, I think they're just stunning. They're gorgeous. Again, you guys, I I know that I made a video about my book box subscriptions, but can you really say that Bookish Box doesn't have beautiful editions? All right, you guys, so those are all of the books that I added to my TBR cart. I'm super excited. I feel refreshed. I just went through and I grabbed books that were speaking to me that I wanted to get to. Of course, there are so many more that are on my shelves that I do want to read, but unfortunately, I am only one person and I can only consume so many books. So I cannot wait to get through all of these and then maybe September, October, I can then refill my shelves again and just have that reju rejuvenation of excitement. But let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this video? What do you think of the choices that I put on here? Also make sure that you go to the pinned comment and join my Patreon. We have so many fun things planned. But until next time, everybody, have a great day. Bye.